You may remember the name and the face. Aton Pates was the first missing child to appear on a milk carton. He disappeared in New York City 33 years ago. Tonight, police are following a new lead. John Miller has covered this case since the day Aton disappeared, and he brings us up to date tonight. Today, for the first time in three decades, police and the FBI returned in force to the New York City block where Aton Pates vanished. New York police spokesman Paul Brown. We're putting greater emphasis on this location, looking forensically for any evidence of, uh, of human remains or clothing. Investigators intend to dig up the concrete floor in a basement that was once the workshop of Othniel Miller, a handyman who befriended the six-year-old boy. The concrete floor was laid just days after Aton vanished. Pates disappeared in May of 1979. He was last seen by his mom walking to a school bus stop by himself. The case tapped into the fears of every parent. It was one of the most highly publicized disappearances of a child. Author Lisa Cohen wrote a book on the case. I think this really was a turning point for American culture. I can't tell you how many times people have said to me, how could she let him walk to the bus stop by herself? That was what people did back then. That was, that was absolutely a standard. And that was before Aton. And after Aton, everything changed. Images of Aton Pates were placed on milk cartons, and the case started the movement that led to the founding of the National Center for Missing Children. But for Stan and Julie Pates, there was never closure. The disappearance became a cold case. For years, Jose Ramos, a convicted child molester from the neighborhood who had dated Aton's babysitter, was considered the prime suspect. John Miller's joining us now. John, what led them to that basement? Well, this takes this case in an entirely different direction from the former prime suspect, um, Jose Ramos. And it's a couple of things, Scott. It's, there's a sealed affidavit filed in court. They have witness information in there. It concerns when that concrete floor went down right after the boy disappeared, why it went down. And another element is they brought in FBI cadaver dogs who did a search of that area. They've done some ground penetrating sonar. The dogs alerted in the area and they've seen some anomalies. So the collection of all these things gave them probable cause to bring to a judge for that search warrant. After 33 years. John, thank you very much. Thanks.